What's going on everybody? Nick Stevens of Nick Stevens Gaming back here with another tutorial on the best stream settings for Streamlabs OBS. Now I've had a couple of people, actually quite a few people, uh, message me directly and ask me why I focus so heavily on Twitch. And I just want to say that that is because they absolutely dominate the competition in a concurrent viewership, as you can see with this graph right here. Yeah, man, they're they're killing it. Um, so yeah, I mean, your chances of actually growing a brand and you know putting some uh, putting some effort forth and there actually being some fruits of your labor are much greater on Twitch. Now, yes, there is, is more competition. But I'm hoping that these tutorial videos are going to help you develop your stream and hone your skills to the point that you can stand out from the rest. There are going to be a lot of people that don't have the knowledge that you have and therefore won't be able to put out the content that you will be able to. So, yeah, I'm here to help you do that. So, getting into our settings here. In the newest version of uh, Streamlabs OBS, they have moved everything to the side here so your settings cog is actually going to be down in this left hand corner here so we're going to open that up and we're first going to see our general settings and the beautiful thing about slobs is they have what's called an auto optimizer now i would suggest that you run this auto optimizer right off the bat so we're going to go ahead and we're going to run that baby and it's going to check things like our internet speed, our computer hardware, and all of these things to give us the best possible settings right off the bat and really give us a good spot to uh, a good baseline to work off of. So once that gets done, it has set all of your settings. And I mean, in general, you could probably just start streaming it out, but there are a few things that we'll want to check and a few things that we'll want to change, and I'll explain why as we're going through. So we're gonna go back into our settings, and we are going to go into our output. Now, one of the things that you'll notice right off the bat is our video bitrate is extremely high. Now I have fast internet, and that's why. Uh, we're gonna wanna turn that down, and the reason why is I've found out that a great number of viewers over actually a little over a third of viewers that are on twitch view on mobile so we want to be able to cater to and not alienate almost a third of our potential audience and i've gone through and done research and you know a good number of those people are also they're on like prepaid services like cricket or boost or someone like that where they don't get quite the bandwidth, well, they don't get anywhere near the bandwidth that you're gonna get with a, a home internet connection. And they don't get quite the bandwidth you're gonna get with a major carrier like Sprint or AT&T or Verizon or somebody like that. Um, normally the download speeds are around anywhere from two to 10 megabits per second. So we're gonna want to set our bit rate down, which is the amount or the amount of, uh, data that we are streaming out to Twitch and are therefore streaming out to our audience down quite a bit. Now there are a couple of reasons or a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do right here is we're going to set our video bit rate down here. I've noticed that in my audiences I've kind of done some experiments with a few of my streams and I actually have quite a few people that view on mobile. And uh, I've noticed that around the 2500 kilobits per second mark is pretty good that's going to get a good even uh, middle of the road where i can still stream in 720 and be okay 2500 is a good even round number they're still going to be able to view it i'm still going to be able to have a high quality stream and so we're going to be good to go there now that being said one of the things that we're going to want to check also is in our video tab here you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are downscaling to 720. Now the reason for that is, unless you're a Twitch partner, Twitch is only gonna put it out at 720p anyway. They're not gonna fully put it out at 1080p. So you're just gonna be putting extra stress and processing power towards pumping out a product that, they can't, that they're not even going to 
fully realize. So you'll want to set that to 720 there. You're going to want to make sure that your uh, downscale filter is going to be set to the Langzos, however you say that, 32 samples sharpened. That's going to give you a good quality. And uh, I personally run mine at 60 frames per second. You can run it at 30, no problem. Uh, if your computer is, you know, a little bit older, running a quad core, you know, AMD FX processor or something like that, you're probably going to want to stick around 30 frames per second or else you're going to start dropping a ton of frames. But uh, I use 60 on mine, on my Ryzen 7 and all that so i mean that's that's pretty much as simple as it is i will want you know you want to check your video bit rate you want to check and make sure if you've got a good graphics card to go ahead and go with your hardware encoder here and it's going to utilize your graphics card and take a lot of the stress off of your processor as well now if your graphics card is a little iffy or you're running an extremely graphics intensive game and you notice yourself dropping a lot of frames you can go ahead and change that to the software x264 and that's going to utilize more of your processor and probably give you a little bit better quality on your stream if you're having issues but i mean that's about it as far as things that you can do right off the bat um we can go into advanced mode here and double check a few things you know we're going, going to want to make sure that our constant bit rate is enabled there our rate control method is constant bit rate and then our target, of course, is 2,500. And the rest of this is actually pretty self-explanatory and uh, just good as it sits from the, uh, from the run auto optimizer that we did earlier. And that's the reason that you want to run that first. You just want to run that and then just kind of tweak everything. But you're going to want to keep everything within those bounds initially and then just kind of tweak from there. So it's going to give you a good baseline it's nine times out of ten i've noticed that i mean it'll, it'll work okay just doing the auto optimizer and hitting stream but you're going to want to turn things down for our mobile friends and uh and not and not lose a third of your potential viewers because if somebody comes into your stream and uh they can't load it or it keeps on buffering then they're just going to go to somebody else and i don't want that to happen you guys so that's going to do it for this one uh yeah like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you have enjoyed this and if you would like to see more make sure to hit that bell icon and follow my twitch channel down in the description below follow me on twitch to our twitter all that good stuff and uh yeah until the next time i see you guys peace